deal or duel? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Dust Not Included. We are in Middletown, Connecticut at a Goodwill. And yes, I'm with Helen. Let's get in here, guys. So, we started out on the blue end cap. And look at this cute little cow creamer. It was stamped made in Japan. And I just thought he was adorable. I did check out the one next door. However, I really felt a connection to that brown one. So he went home with me. Checking out the figurine aisle, one of my favorites. Hmm. Cute, but I'm not sure. So he stayed on the shelf today. What do you guys think? Should I have picked up the owl? So this aisle was a little light today. The shelves were empty. I did see some baby boot planners. Saw the Made in China sticker. And look at this cute little guy. Now I happen to have him. He's a napkin holder and he's supposed to have two eggs as a salt and pepper. See, he's there on top of my kitchen cabinet. I wish he had his eggs. I would have picked him up. Now this is cute. I would put this out for Easter. What a nice duck. Hey guys, at the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe. And like the channel. And if you get a chance, leave a comment. I always appreciate any feedback. So I had to see what was inside this box. It was an art glass globe. And it had a little stand. Now that's cute. Ooh, St. Patrick's Day, anyone? These little window hangers are quite cute. Some brown drip glaze. Now I liked this teal decanter up top, but it had a TJ Maxx sticker, so I could tell it was kind of new. Down the clear glass aisle I went. Let's see if we can find anything. Oh, this here is a Candlewick divided dish. Wouldn't that be nice with some brooches on your vanity? Hmm, I think I might get that. never know what you're going to find in the clear glass. These were great and they were hiding in the back. They're vintage apothecary canisters. You can tell they're older by the ground glass stopper. Very nice. Wouldn't these look great with tea leaves in them or your herbs in your kitchen cabinet? Yep, I loved them, and I took them with me. So, checking out the end caps here, I did see these cute little cat candle holders. I did debate about them, but there was just something that I just couldn't, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling them today, guys. A lot of clear glasses. These were kind of interesting. I liked the um, design. And there was a whole set of 16.
If you're looking for glasses, why buy new? You can get a whole set over at the Goodwill. Check out this. I loved the color. I just wish they had a few more. Like a set of four would have been nice. I saw these beer steins down here. Sometimes the subject matter is interesting to me, so I will pick them up. Now to check out the plates. Hmm. Antique cups. This one's kind of pretty. No markings though. And look at this set. Wow. It was a whole lot of them. You're looking for some nice dinnerware. Ooh, then I spotted this Tilto Japan Hobnail Teapot. It's so cute with its rooster. Oh, I had to pick it up. Love it. I did check out this yellow art glass pedestal dish. It was really heavy, so I had to leave that one behind because honestly the shipping would have been pretty pricey. They had a whole little section of canisters, so I decided to check them out. There was only one of this guy, the oatmeal. And I thought this little rose one was quite pretty. I did check it out and debated. But I didn't end up picking it up. These little cups were interesting. Made of some type of clay material. I don't know, I guess I'm just a fan of the roses, because every time I see them, the pink and the green just gets me. And then, ha, huh, I fell in love with these. I couldn't believe I even found them here. It's a pair of milk glass salt and peppers. Oh. Actually, they're two peppers. I didn't even notice that until just now. Doesn't matter much because I placed them in the cart and when I looked away, someone took them. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Look at this guy. I thought he was so derpy looking. <laughs> I think he's cute.
I love shopping with Helen, the New England thrifter. You should check out her channel. She's great. Don't forget to check me out over on Instagram. I like to post pop-up static sales, and that's how you'll find out when my next sale is. Checking out the vases. I don't know. I'm really on a pink and green kick. It just kept popping out to me. Ooh, this is a real 1980s vase in mauve. I wonder where Helen is. Let's go find her. There she is. Look what Helen found. It's beautiful. Tell me about it. Well, it's, it's a tablecloth. It's all embroidered. And it's got lace details. It's gorgeous. It's really pretty. Perfect for spring, summer. Absolutely. Love it. So after Helen's find, we decided to check out the rest of the linens. They had some amazing afghans. They were sort of small on the smaller side, so I did not pick any up. And then we spotted this dresser scarf. It was quite pretty. So that was the Goodwill guys and those awesome salt and pepper shakers I found with the sailboats. Someone stole them right on my cart when I turned around. <sighs> Goodwill is rough. Anyway, have a great day guys. Till next time. See you later.